There we go! So tired about yeah, it! Yeah, hell yeah! Yes! Yes! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. For, for those that may not know who you are, uh, can you guys please, please properly introduce yourself? Let, let me know whereabouts in the world you're kicking it right now. Plug anything you want. We are a soothsayer from Abilene, Texas. And if you're not familiar with Texas, that's West Texas. We have like a whole country to ourselves over here. Uh, my name is Kaylee. I play the drums for Soothsayer. I'm Justin. I'm the vocalist for Soothsayer. Hell yeah. Well, welcome back, guys. We appreciate it. Really quick, toss out all your social media links so people know where to follow you while we're, while we're chatting. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, we're really big on Facebook. Facebook, like that's, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get into like Instagram and stuff like that, but it's a little more difficult. But uh, if you follow us on facebook.com slash soothsayertx, you can find us there. Also on Spotify, I think there's another soothsayer on there, but if you pop, if you type in like soothsayer identity, you'll be able to get all of our music there or a uh, link tree slash soothsayertx. All of our stuff's on that. Hell yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, guys. Lots of stuff been going on since the last time we talked. I'm excited. First, before before we really dive in, I do want to play the TIOF video, of which I don't know what that stands for, but is that what your normal shows are like? Like, is, is every Soothsayer show, is this video an example of how every show is for you guys? Because if so, you're going to be signed any any day now, for real. Like, that is awesome. Yeah, I wish I wish we could say every single one was that that way. I mean... They're they're not always all that way, but you know our hometown really showed up for that music video, and um, you know they came and showed some support, man. So our hometown shows are that way. Yeah. Um, we're that's why we're like trying to like get out a little bit. I think like even we've been we've been playing Lubbock for you know like a year now, and Lubbock is starting to get that way. But that night specifically, it was probably the one of the best turnouts. I can't say the best, but it's one of the best turnouts we've ever had, and, and people like they they just. They went nuts. Dude. Hell yeah, Evelyn showed up, man. Uh, when is when is 1999 dropping? Which this whole time I really did think it was a Prince cover, <laughs> just just gone mad. But it, <laughs> when is 1999 the video dropping for that? Oh, nice, nice. Um, honestly, we don't have a date yet. Um, we recorded it at Black Room couple of weeks ago and then the following weekend we shot a music video for it so honestly like we're just kind of waiting um on a timeline for them to finish doing what they do like on the editing parts as far as our video goes i want to say though probably like end of november beginning of december so i noticed so, that you guys did say that uh about you recorded it and then you shot the video a week later which i find is very abnormal for how people go about the recordings it's almost as if the the producer within like 48 hours gave you back like the mixed mastered version or did you did you shoot it to like the unmixed single mm, well okay so most of our videos have been shot with the unmixed version that he'll send us but this time around he he whipped us out a, a master in a week pretty much like and and what's his That's name what that you record. what's the guy's name that you guys always record with Luke Garrigus at Black Room Studios. Yeah, he kills it. Flawless. Flawless. Yeah, he's out of a, it's a little suburb, out of like close to Austin. Uh, it's like a little countryside. Very bliss, very peaceful. It was really cool to record there. Heck yeah. I like it. But yeah, he got it out. Like He got it out to us in like a week, and I was really shocked. But normally, yeah, we'll, we'll have like an unfinished mix or unfinished master, you know, and... We'll shoot a video for it because I don't know. For some reason, for for some reason, when we drop singles, they always do way better when we drop a video with it. Yes. So when you just release a single by do, itself, it does better. When we release a single with a video. Oh yeah, yeah. When they they do. So that's what we're that's what we're trying to do. We're we're not gonna do probably like EPs for a while. We're just gonna keep dropping singles and gaining traction because I feel like with the EP, like it's almost like 
people can't commit their entire time to listening to the whole thing. So pushing singles, like people are going to listen to that. You know what I mean? So yeah, not, not only that, I feel like from the writing process too, for singles, we can, we can really like dial in our sound and our, and put as much time, more, a little more time into it whenever it's a single versus when you have a whole EP that you've got to write all the parts for all the lyrics for, you know, and, and have visions for every single song. Um, right now, while we're all working full-time jobs, it's, it's really difficult to be able to do that. So, no, it makes sense. And the algorithm is kind of uh, situated now for singles, single releases, as far as like just being able to push bands harder. Uh, JB, uh, Joseph, yep. Joseph Barber, AKA JB music right here is my, my special co-host of the day. JB, do you have a question for the band before I start playing their music? Yo, how's it going? Um, I don't know. I just, I'm just excited to have you guys here. I started the stream about, uh, and got involved with LBS about a year ago. And that's when I, I first heard about you guys. And so it's kind of like almost a one year anniversary, uh, of me knowing about your music and I'm just stoked to be in, in front of your presence and, and stuff. So I'm, I'm starstruck. Okay. Uh, anyway, my, my, uh, my question to you guys. So say you guys are in, into, uh, heavy stuff. Do you listen to anything that is totally opposite or are you guys just more into that more genre? Uh, man, I, I listen to like J Cole all day at work, honestly. <laughs> just, yeah. just right on. That's that's my go-to, really. Yeah, I love to play metal, like music-wise. But whenever I'm listening, I tend to go to the hip-hop mm -hmm. side of things. Would you ever do, Justin? I've would you ever a, do? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kaylee. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. I got like, excited. Uh, no, I've had I've had a lot of people, like my friends, like my close friends, that are just like, it's crazy that you're in a metal band because you don't like. Yeah, you listen to metal, but like that's not your go-to all the time. So, no, I actually, I do listen to metal, but I listen to, like, a lot of Drake, a lot of Halsey, a lot of, like, M83, stuff like that. So, no, I don't, metal is not my go-to, but it's definitely the most fun to play for me, so. Right on, right on. Justin, on, on the hip-hop tip, would you ever work in, like, an Attila, like, like a speed rap scream ever in a song, something like that? It's a, it's a little bit of a hip hop influence. A little bit of a hip hop influence. No, definitely like rap screaming in it. And and a couple of the songs that we have, I kind of do not that fast. I try to do like a little rap um, in it. But yeah, if I had fucking sick ass vocals like that to do that scream rap thing, I would definitely. You do though. You do. You do. I believe in you, brother. I believe. Uh, <laughs> I want to I want to play uh, some music of you guys so people know that aren't familiar with you. We know know what uh, what you sound like. So let's start off with this one, just because, I, like I said, it's just it looks like everyone just turns out and gets lit at a soothsayer show. So do you guys have any any weird or fun uh, five minutes before we go on stage, like rituals or or chants in a huddle that you guys like? You know, today we're just, uh, do you guys have any any fun stuff like that before you go on stage? Uh, honestly, not really, not yet, but we should get something going there. <laughs> you know what it is? It's usually, it's usually like Hunter. He's kind of like the, uh, I don't know. I don't even know how to say this. He's, uh, it's usually him like asking everybody if his in-ears are incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. That happens every time. <laughs> and like, he doesn't know left from right. And we're just, we're kind of like scrambling because it's, it's always Hunter. It's always Hunter <laughs> like, having problems every time. So, uh, no, not yet. Like, you know, we'll try to get together and say some words. But honestly, it's it's a little chaotic sometimes, dude. And we're just trying to get our, our stuff situated. But you know what? We'll probably incorporate that. Yeah, that would probably help with... I know... I, I don't know about the rest of the bands, but I know I get... I still get stage fright, you yeah. know? So even, even small shows, I still get stage fright. So sometimes it's hard to, like, think about, like, a ritual. But probably if we had that, it would probably help with the stage fright, so... I think we're gonna try to do that. It, it could help. Uh, chat saying, "What about Hunter and Ryan's wet hair ritual?" <laughs> Hunter is in the bathroom every every time before we play. Every time before we shoot a music video, just like, so, like, bro, like, why are you putting so much water in your hair? Nuts. He's slinging it around, but yeah, no, he definitely wets his hair before we play. Ryan, Ryan just he lets out his man bun. 
He just lets and that's it fly. all natural. In the- <laughs> Heck yeah. I, I did mention that we may be doing a little trivia today. Maybe a little trivia. Okay. Hopefully the, the hot sauce was brought. But, oh, excellent. Dude. Excellent. Awesome. Excellent. Right. That'll totally work. So here's the thing, though. You guys get to pick the, the trivia topic. What movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you a trivia question about this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. I'm going to give you a second to let you guys go back and forth and discuss it while I play Onyx, which is one of my other favorites. Have we thought of a trivia topic? How about The Office? The Office, okay. I will definitely come up with some uh, some Office trivia. I've, I've done it before, so give me a second to look it up. Uh, Kaylee, is it is it ever weird being the only woman in a primarily metal male-dominated scene? Yes. It's, it's weird. It's weird sometimes. I think sometimes they forget that um, there's a girl in the band. But then, like, when I say something, they're just like, oh, you're a bro. So I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I mean, does, does that piss you smooth. off or do you? No, it, does, is that cool? It doesn't. Yeah, it's cool because they're like my, if it was anybody else, it would probably irritate me. But no, they're like my brothers. Like, we're all very, very close. Um, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're really close. Like, we're family. I would consider them, you know, family more than some of my own actual blood family. So, no, it, it, it is weird, and it's it's smelly. Um, <laughs> it's smelly. It's smelly. I, I imagine I it is. I imagine. Men stink. It's smelly. It's not really, it's not, I, I don't say I hate it, you know what I mean? It's really cool, too, because they're all very protective over me, you know what I mean, also. That's awesome. So, I mean, there's the, there's the good and the bad, but I, I focus on the good, and I just kind of ride with it, you know? Fair enough. Uh. I need a little bit more time, JB, if you could rattle off one more question for me. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have any shows planned right now or any uh, tours? We have um, we have quite a bit of shows planned. We oh, right don't on. we don't have like, any full tours yet. Like mm. we just played in um, Houston uh, a few nights ago. That was really cool at this place called Acadia. But uh, next, this coming weekend, we're playing at our hometown, and that'll be the last show we play here until uh, the end of February next year. So, and it's a Halloween show; like people go crazy for the Halloween shows here. And um, we've got like a three-day run where we're going to go out of state, which is kind of a milestone for us. Right, right. Heck yeah! So I, I, think- I was going to mention something about that. I see you guys are coming all the way to Arizona, and you're so close. Why can't we just yeah. put, squeeze in one more? We go a little bit more west, just a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> we tried to we tried to work it in as much as possible. Um, it's it's kind of hard with our work schedule sometimes because I get you know, it. Like we we honestly use all our paid time off to freaking do shows, and yeah. it's it's difficult. So if we went to California, that's a lot of drive time. But we're gonna make it happen. So yeah, we are. It's gonna happen sooner or later, <laughs> and and I appreciate you guys for. I mean, that's commitment taking your 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 time off and kind of investing in yourselves with the recordings with the production with the videos with uh i imagine paying a little bit out of pocket to to actually do the travel to do the shows so that that is commitment a lot of bands don't have the the it factor to commit to that level so kudos to you guys for 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 doing that and uh, i hope it's a huge success for you but right now you're gonna be stumped here we go the office (laughs) In the office, there is an episode called The Injury, where Michael gets seriously hurt. How does he actually injure himself? That is correct! Damn it! That is correct! Well done! My, my, my... Damn it! So quick on it! All right, so I got to ask a, a harder one the next one. So no hot sauce this time. I'll have to do the hot sauce. Uh, pick a number 1 through 15. Pick a number 1 through 15. 6. 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is the second hottest one I have. Chili and ghost Ooh. pepper hot sauce. 
Plus, it's saying I have to hit a mandatory blah. So you guys know what I got to do, right? Mandatory blah. It's, it's expected. We got to do it. Oh. Hell yeah. So I have to consume some hot sauce real quick and somehow continue this interview. But uh, what do you guys do just for fun? Let's say it's a day off on the tour that's coming up and uh, you just have a day to kick it in Arizona. Uh, what are your plans to like sightsee tour? Just enjoy the time off and sit back? Or what do you, what do, you do for just odd fun when you have a day off? No work. What's no kids. Off? We watch The Office. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we always take a football with us, and we'll play catch. And we can just do that for hours. And it, it's it's always the worst, because the next day we're all, like, fucking sore. And we're just like, oh, my God, like, our arms are hurting so bad. But it's always, like, we're always playing football all the time. Playing catch. Is it safe so. to say you're either a Texans or Cowboys fan? I right hear, man. Well, yes, which sir. one? Which one? Me? No, te yeah, no Texans. Cowboys. Cowboys. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, Cowboys, for sure. Sorry. The uh, the Vikings and the Cowboys. I'm a Vikings fan. The Vikings and the Cowboys may, I hope, link up in the NFC Championship game. That'd be a hell of a game, right there. Of course, my boys will probably lose because we never win. Oh my God! What? What? <laughs> you got? You're a Vikings fan, Kaylee? I did not know that. Yay! 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 Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, we're five and one. Just fresh off our, yeah. our, our rest right here. Let's go. Heck yeah. And yeah. the start of 2023, I imagine another single may be coming. Does, does the writing process start this early for you guys regarding that next single? And it kind of morphs and changes by the time a couple months go by, we get back to the producer. Or is it when you guys write, is it something that you're just so tight. It only takes like a week or two to whip up something. Oh, man. No, I wish it only took a week or two. Um, it really, it kind of just starts with an idea, like a simple riff or something. And then we kind of just go off of that. And then sometimes we'll, we'll sit as a band and chuck off of it. Or sometimes we'll go to Hunters and try checking different stuff out. But man, like 1999 was months in the making of just writing, like just writing. And then as the music's coming along, I'm kind of putting lyrics to it as we're going along. But to be fair though, the reason it takes so long is because we play so much. So we hardly have downtime when we're not true. working because we're playing like every weekend, you know, sometimes twice a weekend. So it's like when we do have downtime, like we have to go back to work. You know what I mean? So that's why it's so difficult because we have to do it between shows. Yes. Yeah. That's why. Hustling. And, and our, our work schedules are so different as well. Mm -hmm. And and Ryan lives an hour and a half away from us also. So that's another kind of factor that we're that we're dealing with, um, which which isn't bad. We, I appreciate his Yeah, there's just trying to get together. So difficult. Is 1999 is about the accident that occurred, correct, Justin? Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I'm accident, familiar. I'm, I'm familiar with the accident. Uh, if it's okay with you, do you mind sharing what the song's about? It. I'm kind of. I'm talking about the past, like my accident. Which, if y'all don't know, um, when I was five, I got ran over by a riding lawnmower. And yeah, it sounds kind of funny at first, but it was actually really like traumatic and uh, really could have died because the blades were on and it just kind of tore my shit up. And to a five-year-old run, getting run over by a big old riding lawnmower, it, just, it was a mess, bloody mess. Um, so now looking back at that, I'm kind of just questioning my place, you know, and, and why I survived. And I want to put that out there for other people that have experienced, you know, a near death situation and that have also questioned like why they why they made it out alive you know that's kind of my angle from the whole song i appreciate you opening it up uh i do have my final trivia question ready but i want to allow jb to ask one or two more if he'd like to ask you guys something 
Yeah. Uh, what got you guys into music? Is there a certain artist or a certain band that got you into it at a young age? Uh, back when they used to play, when I was 15, that was almost 15 years ago. Uh, they used to play music on MTV still at night, right? So used to. Yeah, used to. Now it's like Jersey Shore mm-hmm. and shit. Which, <laughs> I love Jersey Shore. So, I was listening to, like, rap back then. I was straight rap, nothing but hip-hop. Yeah. And I actually saw, funny enough, uh, Paramore. I saw the, the music video for, for Misery Business. And I just remember seeing, like, this chick with orange hair and this, this drummer on this freaking gold sparkle kit and he was just like going crazy and i was like oh my gosh that looks like that looks so much like just fun i want to do that and so i kind of i kind of like piddled with a snare drum that my mom found at a yard sale um for like the first six months and then i finally talked my parents into getting me a drum kit and so believe it or not i'm playing metal because of paramore wow very cool so interesting interesting So uh, my uh, next, I'm sorry, Justin. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Your, your answer is way more important than what I was gonna say. So, no, uh, who, who got you into music? Guitar Hero got me into music. As funny as it sounds. So wait, wait. Can you guitar. can you actually can you picked up a guitar? You can play guitar yourself. Yeah. Well, guitar. Yes, I can play like some acoustic guitar. I'm not like hundred level or anything, but yeah, I do play guitar. I first played piano. Uh, for a few years like taking lessons but guitar hero is what made me want to like get into a, a band can can hunter or ryan scream at all do you know where yeah, i'm going they, you know where they, i'm going with this yeah they, they both can scream what about do you guys ever alternate do a little swip swap you jump on the guitar and do a solo out of nowhere because you can play and hunter or ryan jump on and do like a last little hook or something one time Oh man, yeah, I can I cannot play anything that those guys play on stage. Oh, so okay, okay, that would not work. Darn it, <laughs> darn it, that would be cool visually. Uh, so be- you brought up the office, office trivia. Uh, a lot of people we've had on the show have set, suggested this before, and no one has gotten this next trivia. I know it by heart. Everyone always says the same answer and the wrong that is not correct. Let's see if you can get it right. In the office. Who actually started the fire? How did they start it as well? Who started it and how did they start it? Ryan left uh, his panini in the microwave. Mother <laughs> That is correct! Yeah, let's go! You are the first ever. Damn it. You guys have definitely seen The Office a bunch of times. I'll give you that. Well done. So can we plug your merch instead of my merch? Can we plug your merch? Where, where Let's say somebody's watching, they're feeling the music. Where can they online order a Soothsayer shirt? Is that possible? Yeah, so we have um, Big Cartel dot uh, Soothsayer TX. Yeah, we sure can. We have all our merch up there. Heck yeah. yeah. It also, it also says spin again. It says plug plug your merch and spin again. So I'm going to spin it one more time. Then we have just a couple more questions. We'll let you guys go. But um, let's see if it lands on something fun. Are you serious? <laughs> it landed on the same thing. So we'll just we'll just ignore that. I don't know why I did that, but uh, we'll just ignore that. We are, uh, we are in hot sauce today, BG. I know. Hey, buddy. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I'll do some more hot sauce. One through fourteen, this number. Uh, let's do fourteen. Fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen is Hawaiian lava flow mango habanero. Out of like, if ten is the hottest one I have in this little row, this is probably like a seven. Not too too bad, but definitely a little linger pinch pain. What up? What phobias do you guys have? What what freaks you out? You can't stand this or this oh, this scares you. I don't like like little holes in skin, like like things that are spory. I, I think it's called trypophobia. 
I know what you're talking about. That's what it's called. Yeah, he can't. I hate that. It makes me so queasy, man. It's not even like, it's kind of like honeycombish, but like Mm -hmm. flesh. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Um, Water bugs. Like giant cockroaches. You know what I'm talking about? You like can a, rob my ass. I'd never heard of it called a water bug, but like a cockroach, you mean in general? Do you've never heard of a water? I'm telling you, they're their own beast here. They're like, they're like this big. And I just, I can't, I can't even stand the sight of them. I just, I physically just get ill. I can't do it. The heebie jeebies. Yeah, water bugs. <laughs> did you know that in flesh? I didn't know that. Wait, say, did I know about, what, about the flesh? What? I, it cut off for a second. Cock, cockroaches feed on human flesh. No, and that's gross. Did you know that? No, that's gross. <laughs> yeah. Probably creating maggots and all kinds of nastiness. Okay, let's talk about something more. Let's talk about something more fun. Ah, uh, it's freaking me out. <laughs> JB, we'll do we'll do final questions. What what is your uh, final question or two for the band? And then I'm gonna ask them something serious. Right on. So, when it comes to practicing your uh your trait or whatever you want to call it your your drumming and your singing is there specific things that you do um to get, get yourself maybe warmed up or maybe just ready for the show uh or as a practice thing like Kaylee, uh, do you have like a little my... like do you have like a little mini behind backstage drum something that you snare warm up on for rolls and stuff no, I take a shot at the bars. <laughs> hey! Hell yeah, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> That's as warm as I get, man. <laughs> Justin, any yeah, any yeah. like uh, lemon and tea? I'm doing a bunch of blahs in the bathroom for no reason, just to stretch the vocal cords. Yeah, pretty much, just like that. No, I drink a lot of a lot of water, you know, coming up to the show, and then like I spend five or ten minutes just warming up, doing like. Like those kind of things, and tongue rolls, and lip rolls, and singing, and uh, then I'll start just doing like I'll scream a whole song through just to get the vocals warmed up because I cannot just do it on the spot. It definitely has to be warmed up for sure. Is the like the way you rolled your your lips and stuff? Is that is that like a technique you've learned from from somebody else, or is that something that just you've discovered on your own that naturally just helps you prepare? Uh, no, our uh, sound guy, Jeff, he let me watch this DVD from Melissa Cross, and that was one of the warm-ups that she said to use, mm-hmm. and Melissa I do it Cross. every time. She, she knows what she's talking about. She works with everybody. If yeah, she does. If you're, if you're a metal that, that, vocalist, you probably have heard of Melissa Cross, for sure. She's, she's the queen of it all. Uh, okay. Guys, we are almost out of time. I must ask the final question, though. I want to know, A... The worst show you've ever had. Why was it so bad? Everyone has a bad one. And then B, give me some serious advice of if a band is starting up tomorrow, what mistake did you guys make maybe a year or two ago that you don't want this band to make? Okay. Um, I'll, I'll do the worst show, actually, question. Um, it was actually just a... The promoter was great. Don't get me wrong. If you don't have a sound guy that's wanting to work with you, though, it could turn really bad, really fast. We went to, and played uh, Dallas-Fort Worth probably like a month or month or two ago, and we have, you know, our, our transmitter box where we set up. We have our tracks, and we have our in-ears, and we're getting on stage, and he's like, well, I don't have enough stuff for you. I don't have enough inputs for you all, and, and this is not going to work, and we're just like, what? Like, what do you mean? Like, we've already checked with everybody, and and made sure it was good to go. And he's like, well, y'all, y'all shouldn't even be playing in here. Y'all should be playing in the other room because we don't we don't have, like, a room for that. And I'm not going to fuck up my whole system just to have y'all play a show. So we were literally, like... Who says that? Arguing. The yeah. sound guy. Yeah. And so we're literally, like, arguing with him in front of the entire crowd. All for him to just do what we say. And it worked fine. But you know what he did? He turned all of our shit down because he was pissed off. Oh, yeah. So that was probably the worst show that we've had. I, I got on stage hot, and I got off stage, like, even hotter, and I was just like, fuck that guy, dude. So, but it was, it was still fun. I don't think that we have not had fun at a show. 
it's always fun because we get to hang out together and we get to play music but there are some people that are like you know if you don't love your job why are you doing it yeah, you know? right assholes for no reason so what about uh advice for advice for like a mistake you guys maybe made uh a year or two ago that you don't want a starting up band to make that's like just forming right now or just about to play their first show like what and it could be related to anything like production video shoots doesn't matter what what mistake you don't have to go into detail but what don't make this mistake is advice you'd give a band to like pay it forward oh man that one's i would that one take some reflection i would say if you cannot have a good friendship to begin with it's not gonna work because it's always like I don't want to say like dead weight, but if y'all don't have like that relationship or that connection when you're playing together, it always comes around and bites you in the ass. And it's member change after member change after member change. You know what I mean? And that in itself is time consuming because then we got to bring somebody else in and then record like, you know, have them learn everything and then they don't work out. And then you got to do it again. And then you really just can't play shows for the time being. You know what I mean? So that was a hard, hard lesson learned. And I guess you don't always know like uh, people right off the bat but I feel like you know whether you have a musical connection with someone the first time you play with them or not sure. and you shouldn't force that because it, it literally will just bite you in the ass in the end you know what I mean <clears throat> yeah no I totally get it and uh back in the day one of our rules was well we were like a party band but we were like we have to get I don't suggest this if you're watching to to you guys but to, not to you but like just anyone that's in a band but I, I would make that person get hammered with me so I could see that they weren't like a violent freaking weirdo if we were like partied oh. after a show or something. And there was, that would happen every now and then. I'd be like, nah, I can't, you can't be in a band with me, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, very good advice. <laughs> 1999 coming, hopefully end of November, I believe you said, or maybe possibly yeah. early December. Excellent. We look, we look forward to it. Please come to California soon. I know maybe in 2023 it's a possibility. I'm going to bring a small village and army to the show. I promise. That's how excited I am yeah. about it. But uh, you guys are awesome, man. This is this is a fun follow-up. I appreciate you. Just keep doing exactly what you're doing. It's going to work. I promise. Way back. Way back. See you later. I hit that button when I absolutely 100% believe in a band and I believe in you guys for real. And we talk to a lot of bands and I don't hit that button very often. So I, I, I appreciate you. Kaylee, Justin, you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for kicking in with you, you uh, with, with, with me and JB. I'm going to put this on YouTube later tonight if it's okay with you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Excellent. You. Guys, if you're watching, please support the band. Hit that follow button. So, sir! Give me a hell yeah! Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. I can't believe I didn't stump you, though. <laughs>